Happy Friday night, everybody, and welcome to Jill Norwood Designs Greenwood Girl Cards. I am coming on with a quick card share and a little preview of the My Creative Time After Party tomorrow morning um, for Saturday Morning Makes. Um, uh, I get to play with Emma's um, releases each month, and I'm very, very grateful to her for sending them to me. And I host an after party. The release is always on a Friday, and I host an after party on Saturday morning where I share different things I've created with the dies that she has released this month. And uh, I'll tell you, I cannot put this release down. Now, you know I'm a gardener, and I love to garden. And uh, I just so enjoyed playing with this release. It's so beautiful. So tonight I'm gonna do a little sneak peek um, for a project that I created for Iralamiha Shop on Etsy. Hello, Betty. Beatrice Jennings is the owner, Betty for short. And uh, I am also sharing a little tiny stamp from Red Lead Paperworks. So Red Lead Paperworks is a wonderful company and uh, I love their products. And uh, I have been blessed to be sent products from Red Lead to promote um, in the past. And I believe this may be one that I purchased. I'm not sure that they sent this to me, but I love fairies and angels, as you know. And um, I've shared many posts um, from Red Lead in the past, and I'll link some of them down below um, in the in the comment area of this video not the comment area but the drop down menu i'll link a few of my past videos for red lead but this sweet little woodblock stamp i thought was the perfect little little butterfly angel or butterfly fairy that says fly away with me to add to the card that i'm going to share with you today so this is from red lead and i just want to make that clear this is not from my creative time this is from red lead paperworks so this is how you spell it and it's red lead paperworks um if you look it up if you just google red lead paperworks it'll come up okay and uh i just i love their products so um the the card that I made is right here. And before I show you and go through the card, let me explain the products that I used. So this is the brand new three inch tulip card die that came out this morning with my creative time. And I hope some of you have already purchased it. I love this die set. I have so many ideas written down for things to do with this die. And some of you may know that I'm a gardener right now. All of my tulips have just sprung to life in the last few days. Um, and we have our first 78 degree day here in Seattle. And so all of my tulips are wide open and colorful. And um, I just love, May is definitely one of my favorite months, April and May um, in the garden because um, all of my bulbs are blooming. Um, and there's the clematis are coming out, the lilacs are coming out, the cherry tree in my backyard is blooming. Um, so it's just a beautiful, beautiful time of year. And I'm sure a lot of you are still stuck in winter and I know that. Um, but just think what we have to look forward to once spring does come. So this is that uh, three inch tulip card die. And some of you may remember that I used a little heart die um, on my cards. And uh, a lot of you were wishing that she could bring that back. Well, she brought it back this time. So this is what it looks like. It says love. And this is a sweet way to put this on the back of your cards. And then you can also add your initials if you want or just have it say love so that the person knows that you're sending the card with love. So she did put this die inside this set. At least I think that's the set it came in. Um, and, and then she also did a handmade by mine's upside down in here, but you can see it. And this is the sweetest little die set. I am in love. It makes the cutest little baby cards. You can make it look like a rose. It can be a tulip. You can make boxes with it. You can do so many things with it. You can make tulip wands. Um, I just, you can do, use the, the main part of the die on a card by itself, um, so I love this die set. Oh my gosh, I think this is going to sell out fast if it hasn't already. And then I didn't use this, but the tulip dies go with, um, there's also a set of tulips that make baby tulips. And I use this one a ton too. And I cannot wait to show you my projects tomorrow. That one just happens to be in the back of this set. So I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you. I'm sure you guys have seen all of the beautiful projects by the entire design team. Do not miss going over to the My Creative Time blog because I don't know if her name is Janie or Janie. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But um, she did a really neat project that I ended up casing 
Um, and there just were so many beautiful makes throughout the week by the entire blog team and all of the people that are on the YouTube design team. So Melissa, Melissa, uh, who else? Christine. Um, I think Gigi is still recovering. Hello, Gigi. We miss you. Um, I'm not sure if she's, I don't think she's creating right now. Um, I, I need to go look. I've just been so busy. I, I didn't even go check her channel today. I should have. Um, anyway, uh, there's there's just so many beautiful projects. I hope I'm going to try and link all the design team members and their blog and also the blog team members down below, or at least put a link to the My Creative Time blog so you can go sh see everything. Um, the other thing that I used on the card that I'm going to show you is the Everyday Word Dies. These are tiny little word dies with um, the shadow behind them. And uh, these are such a nice little size. They are perfect for adding a sentiment to your card. And you can see that I use the word hello on my card here. Um, so there's all sorts of words in here. There's thanks, there's happy birthday, there's thinking of you. Um, I'm trying to remember what else is in here. Best wishes, I think. And I'm probably missing some. Maybe that's everything. And the word hi. I think that's everything. So, uh, Emma, if you're watching me tonight, I would love it if you would do a tiny word die set with mom, sister, brother, uncle, aunt, grandma, grandpa. I think that would be wonderful to have. I was wishing I had it while I was doing my projects because I would have loved to have used it for Mother's Day. Um, I just love the size of these. I think they're fantastic. I don't even think you need the shadow. I just love the way the little words look on your projects. Um, but the shadows are nice to have, especially if you're trying to make something pop from the background. So I love that she included that here. Um, and this is just, all of these sets are wonderful. Now, the other sets that I used to do my card, I used her XOXO border dies, and I used the, the large frame as well as one of the small ones. And then I also used her stitched rectangle dies, and this is a staple in my um, craft room that I use pretty much on every card. Um, and then the other thing that I used is this Spellbinders, and I've shown this to you guys before. This is a floral um, embossing folder from them, and I just love the flowers that are in this and the background that it creates. There's the number for you if that helps. Um, it's E3D048. So it's probably like their 48th 3D embossing folder, maybe, I'm not sure. But um, this is definitely um, at the Spellbinders website right now. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I just cannot say enough about how beautiful the detail of these flowers are. And you can actually cut around these and use them on your project. And depending on the weight of paper you use, you can also dampen the paper and they'll just pop out with your finger. And I showed that in a previous video, okay? And then the beautiful paper that you see that I made the tulip out of is from the Market Street Collage Collection. And as we get closer to the end of April, my, my discount code of um, Jill, J-I-L-L-A-P-R-2-3, um, is going to expire at the end of April, but it's good for 15% off any new items in Irala Miha Shop's store on Etsy. And here is her information right here. So you go to Etsy, put a slash, put the word shop, put another slash, and then just type in Irala Miha Shop and her shop will come up. Okay, so this is one of the Market Street papers. This is a collection of papers, and I chose to use this paper and I created with this paper a tulip. So I used that three inch tulip card die and I, I used um, the stitched piece and then the layering piece that goes on top to create my tulip. I edged it with some um, brown ink just around the edges and along the edges of the, the slits here. And I added three little um, gems. These are from Pink and Main um, and they're like their glossy dots. And then I took some green cardstock um, from Paper Tray Ink and I just created some long leaves by just using my scissors to cut some long tulip leaves, okay? And it is so easy to do. And then I took um, just my fingers and I curled up the edges of them so that they would pop up a little bit on the card. And then for my stem, I actually took a piece of paper and I cut it a quarter inch and I folded it in half, or maybe it was a half inch, I can't remember. I think it might be 
almost a half inch that I cut it, but I folded it in half so that the stem would have some dimension to it. And then I glued the tip of that to the back of the tulip that I had created. Um, I added my little hello that I, I die cut with the same paper from Irala Miha shop. And then I added a little piece of this trim that I got from my friend Kim. Um, and Kim, I did a happy mail from her last night. Um, she sent me the most beautiful package and I shared um, a beautiful gingerbread journal and a gingerbread doll and then so many supplies that she sent me. And this was one of the things she sent, this beautiful trim. And I fell in love with that trim and I just really wanted to use it on this card. So next to the little fairy from Red Lead Paperworks, I just added this little piece of the trim like a flower that the fairy is kind of standing on. And I just love the detail of that embossing folder with the beauty of the My Creative Time Tulip, um, the lovely little word from the Word Dies for My Creative Time this month, and then adding this little fairy to the scene. Um, I just think this turned out so cute. I kept the inside of this uh, card really simple. I used the XOXO border dies, so there's X's and O's around the whole inside of the card. Just a little tiny um, piece of trim from that beautiful paper. And then on the back, I did the beautiful love again, and then the XOXO border die in the smaller size to create the back of the card. So that is my card. I hope you guys will visit Rala Miha shop um, to take a look at her papers and use my discount code if you're interested. And, uh, and then don't forget about the My Creative Time release. It went live at 8 a.m. this morning. And I hope that you guys all enjoyed seeing all the projects. And I will be here tomorrow for Saturday Morning Makes to share everything I made with the um, this entire month's collection. This is the 132nd edition release from My Creative Time. And it is a garden-themed release. And I am so excited to share everything that I created with the collection. I honestly, I cannot put the collection down. I just keep going out and creating more and I have used an entire paper pad. The paper pad that Emma released this month is gorgeous and I've used every single piece up, even the cover. <laughs> so I, I don't think I have anything left um, at all. So uh, I can't wait to show you guys everything that I made and uh, I will see you tomorrow morning for Saturday Morning Makes. I hope you can join in the fun and I cannot wait to see what everybody has been making. I have so enjoyed looking at everybody's projects from last week. There's been so many sweet, sweet cards and tags and projects. And uh, you all inspire me. The entire My Creative Time design team inspired me this month. Um, so many beautiful projects. So thank you to all of them. My love goes out to Melissa, to Gigi, and to anyone else. Oh, and to Emma and uh, Angel. Um, just everybody that uh, has anything going on in their lives that they're struggling with, I send you my love and my blessings, okay? All right, everybody, thanks for taking a look at this sweet little card using products from Irala Miha Shop. This beautiful paper is from her. This beautiful tulip die is from, um, this tulip card die is from My Creative Time. I hand cut the leaves. This is from Red Lead Paperworks, this adorable little fairy, and it also works for Woodblock Wonders. So I'm going to post this as a Friday Night Woodblock Wonders video, and I, I just thank you guys so much for taking a look at my card, and again, that beautiful um, embossing folder is from Spellbinders. So just a, kind of a, a project that uses a lot of different companies, and I had so much fun creating, especially with this sweet little angel stamp from Red Lead. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Saturday morning for Saturday Morning Makes. All right, everybody. Bye now.